In this video, we're going to take a look at points of intersection. So to begin with here, let's take a look at some basic simultaneous equations. So let's say that I've got y is equal to, say, 2x plus 4. And then let's say that I've got here um, 2y is equal to minus x plus 6. Okay. These numbers don't particularly mean anything. So my coefficients here, there's nothing particularly important, um, like I said, about these simultaneous equations. When we go to solve these simultaneous equations, what we're looking at here is the point of intersection. What I've got here is a straight line, say L1. I've got another straight line here, say L2. So what I do is when I solve those, I'm looking for the point of intersection. Okay. Now, because they're just two straight lines, that point of intersection will be a single point. Okay. Now, let's take a look at another example here of, um, again, a simultaneous equation, but this time a quadratic simultaneous equation. So if I've got x squared, plus y squared is equal to 16. So what I've got here is the equation of a circle. And then let's say I've got y equals x. Okay, a very basic straight line. And when I solve these, what I'm actually solving here is the intersection between this circle and this straight line here. So that would be my y-axis. This would be my x-axis here. So for my circle here, obviously this would have a radius of four. Let's say it looks something like this. Okay, let's just say that's my circle. Obviously, this would be centered at the origin. It would have a radius of 4. Okay, so that's my circle. And then if I draw the straight line here, y equals x, I'll just go through the origin here. Okay, so it's going to look something like this. So we'll just try and join this up here. It's going to look something like that. Okay, so that's y equals x. And the circle here is x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. Okay, and what you can see here. So we actually have two points of intersection now. Okay, I've got this point here and I've got this point here. Okay, so we'd have two points of intersection in this case. So we'd get two solutions. I'd get an x equals and a y equals. And then we'd also get another x equals and another y equals. Okay. So that's the idea behind this video. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at certain functions. We're going to sketch both of those functions and we're going to check basically how many points of um, intersections there is. In other words, how many solutions do we have Okay, when we solve those two equations? So what you can see here, just another point before we move on to the questions, is sometimes you might not have any points of intersection. So let's just say my straight line um, has a very small y-intercept here. So let's say, for example, that's minus 20. Okay. Then when I sketch that, it would be, say, down here. Obviously, it would cut through the, the x-axis again, but it wouldn't intersect with a circle here. In my circle is C. It wouldn't intersect with C, so in that case, we'd have no points of intersection there. We'd have no solutions, okay? So do be aware that you can also have no solutions. Obviously, in that case, there'd be no points of intersections, so no solutions, okay? So what you need for this video is to be confident with the previous couple of videos, such as sketching cubics, um, reciprocal graphs, quartics, stuff like that. If you're not already feeling confident with that, then do check out those previous few videos, because otherwise you might struggle a little bit with this video. However, if you are feeling confident, let's take a look now at a couple of practice questions. Taking a look at question one here, we're asked to sketch on the same axes below the curves of y equals 1 over x and y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. So to begin with here, let's sketch y equals 1 over x. So y equals 1 over x here. So to sketch this, we need to be aware of the general shape. So this is just a reciprocal curve. So we have an asymptote to the x-axis here and we have an asymptote to the y-axis. So we're going to keep getting closer and closer to the y-axis, but never actually touch it. So if I try and do a sketch here, it won't be perfect. We're going to get something that looks, say, like this here. Okay, again, we're going to keep getting closer and closer to the x-axis, but never actually touch it. If I join that up here, it's going to look, say, something like this here. Okay, not perfect, but you get the idea. And then we're going to also do the same. In this quadrant here, so again, we keep getting closer and closer to the x-axis, then we get closer and closer to the y-axis, okay? Again, not perfect, but you can see the general shape here, so that is y equals 1 over x, okay? Now, let's sketch the quadratic here as well. I've got y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2, okay? 
Now what I want to do here is see if this factorizes because if it does factorize, it makes sketching this quadratic really easy. So I'm going to get here y equals. In this case, it does factorize. Quite a straightforward quadratic here. I'm going to get x minus 2 and x minus 1. Okay, that means we have two solutions here along the x-axis. I've got a solution here of 1 and a solution of 2. Okay, and then we have our y-intercept here at positive 2. Okay, that would be when x is 0. In that case, we look at y equals 2. Let's say that's there. Okay. Now, again, if I try and sketch this quadratic, it won't be perfect. Um, in fact, just to make this a little bit easier, let's move the 1 down ever so slightly. Just to make my sketch a little bit easier here. Let's say that. Okay. What's this going to look like? Let's say it's going to look like that. Okay, so again, if I just join this up here. It's going to look like that. Okay, so this one here is y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay. So that's our solution to part A. That's just a sketch on the same axis of um, y equals 1 over x and y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. So that's part A done. Now for part B, it says using your sketch in part A, deduce the number of real solutions to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x equals 1. So what we have to be asked here in part B, well, this looks a little bit different here. Okay, it's what we actually got in part A. I've got y equals 1 over x, and now I've got this quadratic here. So where has this cubic here come from? Well, all they've done here is they've equated y equals 1 over x and y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2 together. So what they've done then, they've put 1 over x equals x squared uh, minus 3x plus 2. And all they've done then is multiply through by x. So in that case then, they've got that x cubed. So x squared times x gives me x cubed. Minus 3x times x gives me the minus 3x squared. I've then got um, positive 2 here, plus 2 times x. That would give me plus 2x. And clearly that would just be equal to 1. Okay. So if I put 1 over x equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2, in other words, what I'm asking there is, where are the points of intersection? Okay. Or in other words, how many points of intersection? If we're looking for the number of real solutions. And in this case, what you can hopefully see is we just have one solution here. That would be this point here where both of the curves meet. Okay, so my quadratic here meets the reciprocal graph um, on the reciprocal curve at this point here. Okay, so in that case, there is just one real solution. Okay, so one real solution. And that gives our solution there to part B and to question one. Now, if we take a look at question two, like you can see, it looks pretty similar. Again, same kind of basis. We start with part A, where it asks us to sketch the graphs, and then part B is asking for the number of real solutions. So let's begin with part A here and sketch the quadratic. So y equals x squared minus 1. Now, hopefully, you might recognize this as the difference of two squares, which makes sketching this really easy. I'm going to get x minus 1 and x plus 1. Okay, so y is equal to x minus 1 times x plus 1. So I can sketch that then. I'm going to have a solution here at minus 1 and a solution here at positive 1. And that will cut through the y-axis at minus 1 as well. Okay, so putting all that together here, we're going to get something that looks like that. Okay, so that's y equals x squared minus 1. And what I want to do now is also sketch this straight line here. So 2y minus 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. So in this case, let's put this in the form of y equals mx plus c. I'm going to get 2y is equal to 3x minus 6. So all I've done is added 3x to both sides, subtracted 6 off both sides. And I just need to divide through by 2. So in that case, y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 3. Okay. So what I want to do now is sketch this straight line here. To do that, all I'm going to do is work out where it cuts through the y-axis. In that case, that would be when x is equal to 0. So that would be y equals minus 3. Let's say that's there. And then where it cuts through the x-axis. So that is when y is equal to 0. So I'm going to get 3 over 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Add 3 to both sides here. So I get 3 over 2x is equal to 3 times through by 2 now. 
So I get 3x is equal to 6. And then just divide through by 3. Or you could have just divided through here by 3 over 2. No not matter which way you do it. But in that case, I'm going to get x equals 2. Okay. So my solution here along the x-axis is at positive 2. Let's say that's there. Okay, so it cuts through a 2. So if I just join these up here from minus 3 to 2, it's going to look something like that. Okay, so that's my straight line. Y equals, um, in fact, let's write the original 2y minus 3x plus 6 equals 0. Okay, so that's our solution to part A. So like you can see here, what I've got is my curve here for the quadratic. I've got my straight line here for 2y minus 3x plus 6 equals 0. Okay. So that's the solution to part A. Now for part B, it says write down the number of real solutions to the equation x squared minus 1 is equal to 2y minus 3x plus 6. So because they've, they've been equated here, okay, what we're looking for is where do they intersect, okay? Now what we can see from our sketch here is that they, they don't actually intersect, okay? So if I just change my pen color here for part B, then for part B here, what we'd say is there is no real solutions. So no real solutions, okay, because we have no points of intersection there, okay. The curve here, the quadratic, doesn't intersect with the straight line. So in that case, there's no solutions to x squared minus 1 equals 2y minus 3x plus 6 there, okay. And there we have it. So that's our solution to question 2. And that brings us to the end of this video on points of intersection.